family has a road trip tradition. And that is my mom used to buy us things. And she used to put them in like little paper bags and she would seal them up to make the road trip shorter, or to feel shorter at least for kids. She'd meet them out and hand them, you know, like one an hour, and you'd have these surprises that would give you something to do on the trip. And they called them happies. So every hour you got to open a happy. Have a happy for Zach. It's a group happy. I'm excited oh, okay. about it. You can tear it open any way you want. It's a group happy too, so. Yes! This is what I think it is, guys. 50 shades oh, of gray for yeah. the trip! Yeah? Alright, here we go. Let's get into this thing, huh? I struggle to sit up and I'm still tethered. Christian, I can't move. His grin widens, and leaning down, he undoes the tie. The woven pattern has made an indentation around my wrist. He gazes at me, his eyes dancing with mirth. He kisses my forehead yeah, quickly. With, how much of this that you just read is real? This is all real. I mean, I've only made up a couple lines of my okay. own. So when did, when did it become real? When he's untying her wrists? It's all real. He pulls out of me suddenly. I wince. It's the first sentence of chapter 10. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. More. Whoa. I thought you were making that up. I feel like this is not well written and it's just kind of like throwing words on a page there that sound kind of sexy. No. They sound sexy to a specific audience though. Like who would really... Who? Uh, that... I saw the word tang. Oh, metallic tang of blood. Well, moving on. <laughs> Got back from the bathroom in Canada. They don't use toilet paper. It's three maple leaves. You get it? Get it? It's like, some neat. it's like Canada, but like demolition, man. It's like, it's like I put them together. I get it. You did good. I'm gonna give you a star in the notebook when we get back in the car. You too, because you were involved. Yeah. Because you're an accomplice. <laughs> This is definitely the biggest car in Montreal, yeah. without a doubt. Moby Dick. What is that? This is the Great White Whale. Bonjour, bon oui. It is 8.04 Eastern Standard Time, and we have made it to Montreal. We already feel more French. The air smells of rich maple and, and poutine, which doesn't sound good, but it is good. Excited to see the city. I don't know what what to expect from it. Um, I am surprised at all the the French stuff. I didn't realize it was going to be so. It's all French. Yeah. I wonder if we'll be accepted with open arms, or they'll just be like, <laughs> le poisson. We'll find out. What do you think happened to Aaron? You think he died? Hope so. He's been in there a while. Montreal or nothing, baby. It's me going into a hotel in Montreal. A trick I learned from the other show, where you drive by, you drive into a place, and then they film you, and then you go out and you do it again. Let's do it again. This time I'll do it silly. Is that all that stuff our stuff? No, not all of it. Most of it's yours. Oh. There's cool. a bidet, there's a wardrobe, there's wigs, there's makeup. There's wigs? Fuck. You need any help with that? Because I can't help you at all. Holy oh, shit. Look at that, that will not go through, there's no way. Zach's bidet will not. What? So my toilet seat. It's clogging up the it's way. It's causing the problem. It makes you think that people don't bring toilet seats with them on road trips in Canada. I wonder why like, they think that. Is that not a... Every place I've ever been, I bring whatever toilet seat I have. Piece of shit. <laughs> Josh? Yeah, it's Josh. Oh, he's giving me that that car won't fit in the head shake. I recognize that from ballet. Okay. The car's too big, our toilet seat is too big. We're just not fitting in in Canada already. 